Wow, it was sad games. We're playing Dark Souls. Prepare to die edition. With and you couldn't take enabled. any more technical problems on the PS3. And apparently last time we launched the game, the game just froze. <laughs> yeah. So the PS3 is basically killing itself. So in the meantime, please enjoy some Dark Souls. Uh, Our solution was to go to the other version of the game that also is completely broken. Oh, <laughs> the I PC need... version yeah. of the first game. Uh, I need to grab this keyboard mouse. We were gonna play... I have this on every platform. Have, kind of. But I, but the original version I played for the first time, the 360 version, I uh, gave to my brother. And so, it's not around. That was gonna be the obvious solution. So now we're gonna try to, we're gonna try to get through the PC version. Because my obviously doesn't make any sense to play the PS3 version. That'd be weird. Yeah. It's like if, considering the PS3 is what's why we're not playing Demon Souls. All right. Uh, it's gonna be a male. So I gave Andrew options, and he, he was very adamant about the option that has an Estus flask in it. Yes. So that's why we're going with Dark Souls on PC over uh, Bloodborne. I think it's kind of a no-brainer to play the dark, the three Dark Souls games in order, as opposed to to starting with two or three. Especially since three learns from Bloodborne and two, I think, is one of the hardest ones. Two gets, two has a learning curve. Hi, I'm Ryan Reynolds. So while I think Demon <laughs> Souls is- Why is Ryan Reynolds in this game? I can't believe you don't think that looks like Jack Black. It seriously looks just like- Looks like Frank West. Hey, uh, callback. Uh, <laughs> First episode of Dark Souls we ever uploaded. Alright, I'm done with this Can shit. I make- remember that? Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's titled, Can I Make Frank West? This is a waste of time. Frank West is probably the easiest character to make in this character creator. <laughs> yeah, Frank West is pretty easy Because he always looks like Frank West with that goddamn hair. Yeah. Well, it's called Reseeding. Uh, alright, that's it. Uh, it doesn't really look like Guts, but it's fine. Has Andrew surrendered? Yeah, eh, it's not worth it. You never see this dude's face ever. Literally ever. Cue to an entire build where you wear like a circlet or something, so your your head's always exposed. No, I'm just gonna. You're gonna play as a warrior. Yeah, that's why I played it in Demon Souls. Okay. I mean, plus. I just didn't know what you'd picked. Did you, did you pick your gift and stuff like that? Yeah. What's my that? gift? Is the tiny tiny beings ring? So HP healing over time. Okay. I mean, it's and you, better and you than want top heavy. Yeah. Yeah, the I think the advice from Plague of Gripes was to always play a top heavy build because it makes it makes the armor look better. Oh, okay. I only picked it because Guts is top heavy. Yeah, <laughs> but like supposedly it makes the armor shape look better because the harm a lot of the armor is like almost skin tight. So, oh yeah. So having a top heavy character makes the armor look right. Yeah, the uh, I mean everything else didn't make sense because I'm not a thief, so having a master key seems weird. Tiny beings ring. Seems nice. Old witch ring. I don't know. I don't know what it does. I don't know like any of this shit. Black fireball. Uh, I need that. Let's see. How that got us this blessing? Let me see it. Uh, oh, right. Uh, highlight binoculars. No, not binoculars. It doesn't matter. Highlight uh, old witch ring again. No obvious effect. <laughs> I'm sure it has that. some kind of story related plot thing. I forgot about how like this. The, one, the main one that comes to mind is that the pendant is something that for years people tried to figure out what it did in the game because they were sure it must do something and uh, it doesn't. It's just for- It's literally you pick this if you don't want a thing. Um, you could just pick none! You can't pick none, yeah. Why would you pick pendant? Because they're meaningful. I don't know, for some reason they, they all these games have a gift in a lot of them that just makes it feel like you start with something. A lot of them are literally consumables, like the Black Fire Bomb, and then you just use it up and it's gone. Yeah, that's why I didn't want the- because yeah. you can find Black Fire Bombs in the world. Yeah. So, like, wasting your gift on an item you'll and, find. And, like, on some level, one of the most useful things you can get is the binoculars, because it lets you, like, look around in first person and zoom in and, like, ex and explore that way. But you can also just- I'm pretty sure you can just find the, the game's binoculars <laughs> that are already in there somewhere. So, yeah. The, the tiny being ring is also probably borderline useless. So this is like it's my build. It's probably so slow. Okay. You're in a store in Noble. Color black. <laughs> I see unknown. Check out this receding black noble. Jeez. What do words mean? Alright. Y'all ready for story? It's... In the age of ancients. 
the world was unformed, shrouded by fog. A land of grey crags, arch trees, and everlasting dragons. But then there was fire, and with fire came disparity. Heat and cold, life and death, and of course, light and dark. Then from the dark they came and found the souls of lords within the flame. of the day. The witch of Isolith and her daughters of chaos. Gwyn, the lord of sunlight and his faithful knights. And the furtive pygmy, so easily forgotten. Sure. I'll believe you. <laughs> yes, indeed. The dark sign brands the undead. And in this land, The undead are corralled and led to the north. Where they are locked away to await the end of the world. Seems like a waste of space, honestly. <laughs> well, I guess not, because the undead seem to attack people, so it's probably for safety. It's so weird seeing this in 1080 and like a big screen on 1080 and everything. Right. It looks good though. It's a nice looking game. They have really good visual design. Wow. With the mods. The mods didn't change the visual design. They just upscaled the resolution of the render. No. All these all these textures are HD. Yeah, but they're just mod they're they're literally just the original textures being scrubbed for HD. Oh well, yeah. They didn't make new textures in the mods. 
so the visual design is still the same. Well, thanks for throwing bodies at me. We're here, we're alive. Oh, wait, why did that guy have a key on him? He threw down a key. There you go. Oh. You've escaped. Congratulations. Camera controls. Let's test whether or not Andrew still remembers how to play Dark Souls. It's basically the same buttons as it was last time. I don't know. <laughs> what is this fucking pathetic ass sword I got? It's not a sword. Oh, it's like a hilt. Yeah. What? It's a just... broken sword. You're a failed knight. You, you can't even backstab people? You... I don't think so. You just woke up in like a cell. Okay. Uh, great. Well, all the buttons are the same, which is good news. Yeah. So stop trying to attack with with X. I wasn't. Don't make don't do that again. Uh, let's see. Well, you have to be very careful not to fall downstairs. I cannot slide my ass down them quickly, or else I will be in serious trouble. Yeah, supposedly if you, uh, supposedly if you slide, if you hold run to slide down a, a ladder, you might fall out of the world. Only if you set it to 60 frames per second. Are we at 60? Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah, because I want, like, I, so I assumed. the best possible quality. Well, you, you clarified of uh, being like, only of this, and I'm like, wait, what? You are we not? <laughs> Thought we were. Hey, friend. Yeah, I'm not fighting you without fucking a real sword. Ah. Oh, God, I didn't realize that you fucking were that quick. Jesus. Oh, thanks. So Andrew, Andrew does a little bit about some layout stuff at the beginning of this game because uh, the first playthrough we ever did, like I said before, was Dark Souls 1. Oh my god, is this... Didn't make it very far, but we've definitely seen okay. this bit. But can Andrew play it is the question. What are you trying to do? The brightness. Yeah. I think it's really mostly your TV being... Well, no, even OBS has it really dark. Look at that. Yeah. OBS has it like... I can't even fucking see any of this. Ridiculous. Well, if it's just a gamma adjustment, it might not affect GoBS anyway. Oh, it is probably just a gamma adjustment. Ah, good. Hey, you got a shield. a shield. Oops. You're not gonna be a unicorn? No, I'm good. Oh. Um. It was the first subtitle you ever had to edit into a, a video. <laughs> I was getting shot when I got shot in, that guy, in the face by that guy. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a unicorn. <laughs> I was an idiot. <laughs> I was a stupid person. <laughs> I was a stupid person. It was a long time ago where I was but a wee stupid lad. Hello there, sir. This fucking coward is just sprinting down hallways and trying to shoot at you. Not today, Satan. Oh, there he goes. Satan. Wow. Starting things off high with that particular guy. Yeah, so he's was... Satan. We can all escalate from there. Yeah, this that was there, the hardest enemy in this is, game. Is there going to be a mega mecha, mega mecha Hitler Satan? Deluxe edition with pre-order bonuses. Can I, come on. Oh no. You can't get up there. Can't get up there. Oh no. What will I do? Go anywhere else? No. It's pretty much the only option at that Never. point. Never. That's how decisions work. It's the only way I'll possibly ever go. The only way I'll possibly ever go. Woo. I remember that. I remember that. <laughs> and really the ragdoll well. bricks. No, I remember his the ball. shadow's green. I remember that ball coming down. Did you notice that his shadow's green? He, his blood's green. No, that's shadows. It's moving with you too. My shadow green. What have you done to this game, Andrew? The shadows are green. Only, only there though. <laughs> no, it, it was shut. Yeah, it was. Uh, it was also. Uh, it was green in one of the previous rooms too, but you went fast. Oh, was it? Yeah. Oh well. Oh, you. You're no hollow. I don't know. Goodness. What? I'm done for, I'm afraid. I'll die soon. Then lose my sanity. I wish to ask something of you. You and I are both undead. Hear me out, will you? Regrettably, I have failed in my mission. But perhaps you can keep the torch lit. There is an old saying in my family. Thou who art undead art chosen. In thine exodus from the undead asylum, Maketh pilgrimage to the land of ancient lords. When thou ringeth the bell of awakening, the fate of the undead thou shalt know. Well, now you know. 
and I can die with hope in my heart. Oh, one more thing. Here, take this. An Estus flask. An undead favorite. Yes. Quite. Quite a favorite. I feel like I'm immediately peacing out. <laughs> oh shit. I would hate to harm you after death. So go now. And thank you. Can't I just kill him? Uh, if you killed him, he would drop those items, yeah. Okay. Or you could not kill him. Oh, he's dead. That was the sound of a dying person. Was it? Yeah. Oh my god. Are you okay in there? No. He died. Wait, wh wh where'd he go? He went the way that people go when they die. Where'd he go? <laughs> So he just did what you do when you die in this game, which is you fade away, and then you reappear somewhere. Seriously? Yeah. It's an in-universe thing that happens. It's how dead people are reborn over and over again when they die. That is weird. And but, but I retain my memories. He doesn't. Yeah. No, he retains his memories too. Then why the fuck did he give me all that shit? The the problem is that so he said he he was he was thankful for the fact that you're not a hollow. So these are all hollows. The people you're fighting. Yeah. They're all undead just like you two are. Because if you keep dying over and over again and you lose your way, you go hollow. And ah. You lose a piece of yourself every time you die. It's actually a metaphor for the game's difficulty. Because if you if the player gives up, they go hollow. Sure. Every hopefully. every every character you encounter in this game that isn't hollow yet, that isn't dead, is driven by their like, they have a goal of some kind and a mission that's keeping them focused and that's keeping them sane. And if you lose your focus and you give up on your mission, you go hollow. Uh, yeah, I could see that. That makes sense. So that becomes a metaphor for players because if players die too much and, and have too much trouble, they quit the game forever, then they've also gone hollow and their, character, their story ends there. That gate is locked. Yes, it is. I guess you'll have to go somewhere else. Ugh. Well, I guess I have to fight this boss. Hi there. Hi there. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> wow. That did not work how I was hoping it would. <laughs> that was spectacular. Yeah, that was not That was good. incredible. So how's it gonna go, Andrew? How much have you learned in the last six years? Uh, probably pretty Let's fine. find out. Oh, not that way. Oh. He does, he's not too tanky. No. God. That's a weird time to roll. Come on. Oop. Ah, oh, fuck. Did not time Not that quite. Right. Wait, what? Yep, he's getting you. He's getting you. Come on, are you fucking. He's got range. Me? Yeah, but I wouldn't. Oh, it wouldn't let me it. fucking. I didn't block it. I dodged it. Oh, you did you? Yeah. Oh, wait, you probably can't block yet. For 100, percent I mean. Uh, I think this is 100 percent block. Yeah, yeah. It would have been good to check before now. Oh, get that gooch. Get the gooch. Oh, oh, he's got a disadvantage here. He's having trouble turning around. Oh yeah. Right in the butt. Ooh. No! On my butt. <laughs> so close. I don't want to deal with this anymore. There you go. Goodbye. So I don't want to call too much attention to it at the time, but you like... You just did the thing you're supposed to do during a Dark Souls boss fight. Which is you... You tried different approaches to the fight and adapted in real time to what was and wasn't working. You started off trying to specifically back away from his attacks and you got punished hard for it. So you're like, I'm going to try going around behind him. And then you even found like a specific angle where like his attacks don't quite reach you. And then he where's, keeps trying to rotate to reach you and he can't quite reach around to get you again. Yeah, where his little gooch didn't fit. Yeah. Um. So how do I, can I go back up there and go through that door that was locked before? Uh. Did you get a key? Yeah. Did you? Yeah. I got a key, but is that the key for that door right there? Um, oh wait, no, yeah, I think you got the key to the door that's right there. So I don't... I think it's just that key. You can't come back. You can't go there yet. 
now. I remember when you go there and it's not not now. It's not now. There Who's you go. The big pilgrims yeah, you needed his key to leave the room. I'm glad he just had one on him. Yeah, and his gooch. Just carved it out in the, from the fat folds. Gross. Congrats. Any dead people around here want to give me some donations? No? Okay. Some soul soul donations? Soul nations? These soul nations? No? So you'll notice they immediately made the soul count satisfyingly larger in this game. It, yeah. You already have 2300. Yeah. It's satisfyingly larger. In the ancient legends, it is stated that one day an undead shall be chosen. I missed out on a good opportunity here. Uh, I could have installed a mod to make that crow a uh, seagull. Just something really dumb. <laughs> Just surprise us all. I saw a mod not too long ago where somebody was murdering everyone with musical uh, instruments. Uh, 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 uh. Crow. Vibrating crow. <laughs> That was weird. It's like ah! <laughs> Machine gun crow. <laughs> Machine gun crow. Crow. Wow, wait a You know what always I didn't understand? What? Uh so that crow just shows up, draws me off here, right? Yep. Just, just huge ass this dude this just guy doesn't give a fuck. This guy doesn't give a fuck that some maybe giant he just, crow. Maybe he just sees it every day. No, he can't, because I'm the chosen one. Maybe other undead have been, like, not sh unshitty enough to be taken from there before. So, here's the thing. What an anime landing, by the way. You did the superhero landing and all the feathers were framing around the screen. Should we kill him again? Why? <laughs> we did that in our first one. Yeah. <laughs> we don't mean to do everything we did in the first one, including getting also, up. Also, god, that looks awful. What does? Which part? This guy's armor. Oh, his armor. Look how awful that looks. Yeah, so it's Jesus. like, was it scale mail? It's like, yeah, it's chain mail, but it looks awful. Like, my armor looks really good, pristine, HD. This is just like, uh, I put some cardboard boxes together and just put it on myself. I wonder if you can wear his armor. It might not be something you can get. I don't, like, I think all the items that you can get are in higher definition than what NPCs wear. Could be, yeah. Um, because there's a lot of NPCs I noticed that don't- He's exactly like the blue phantom you saw in, in Demon Souls. Yeah. There's just always, there's just always that dude that just kind of sucks in every game. Then he's just there to tell you how you're going to fail. Okay, um, what? Same gonna... rules generally apply as before. This time around, the useless stat is resistance. Resistance? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Resistance is basically a waste of points. And I'm gonna do those three. Yeah. Vitality, Vitality, endurance, and endurance and strength. And strength. Hooray! Um, because at this point I need, I need a lot of health, I need a lot of, uh, stamina, and I need strength to carry better weapons. Yeah. So... Uh... These are all valid things to do. So let's do that! And now you've got no souls to lose. Yeah. Hooray! I've got basically no souls to lose. Uh, excuse me? Oh, I couldn't see over the nice foliage. What were you running humanity. What were you running into? I was running into like a clip in the hill. Oh. There's like a little lip and I can't Weird. get over it. Yeah, I didn't see I didn't see it either. How about Not now? gonna repeat our mistakes of the first time. No. <laughs> Where are we? So for those that um Did you throw it he, does, he, does, you? he does that a lot. His hand clips through the thing behind him. Oh, there he goes. Oh, you got numbers now. That's fine. So for those that don't know the the colored history of sad games, uh, we so our first ever series was Dark Souls, which was very ill-fated and didn't go very far at all. Uh, six years ago. Six years ago. Yeah, isn't that weird to think about? Six How long? years uh, ago. Oh, you're alive. Oh. I'm not going- oh, oh, you did it again! Wow. <laughs> you did it twice! I, I was trying to walk. I was trying to roll the other side, but it wouldn't let me roll. You so died I in the first place! This is gonna be a good series. I know, that's my- I can't bad. wait. That's my bad. I can't- oh yeah, it's always your bad, forever. Well, I mean, that was- <laughs> They're that always was, gonna be your bad. I wasn't trying to, uh, fall off that cliff. So, we, we were playing Dark Souls, and at that time, uh, nobody in the group had played Demon Souls except for me. All I did is I had only done the second boss, the one that we haven't seen Andrew do yet or meet yet. Uh, 
So that, that, that was all exp exposure I had, but even that was two years beforehand. So we were playing this game, and we were, it was famous for being hard already. Even though we were getting it released, that's all anyone could fucking talk about is how hard it was, because reviewers had no idea how to even process this game at the time. And, uh, one of the, uh, so because we thought it was hard, we didn't question the difficulty? Uh oh. Oh, you did it twice. Oh, come on! <laughs> you, 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 you knew this was gonna happen, and you did it Yeah, anyway. but I have to get rid of him. You can just go behind the stairs. Or anywhere out of his line of sight to fight other dudes. Yeah, but if I there go, go if I go behind the stairs, he's just gonna keep hurling fireballs. But he can't because there's a wall there. Yeah, We've but established that he can't get past the saying, wall. He can't even throw past it when it's behind him. <laughs> Did he die? That's right yeah. off the cliff, right? Okay. There was an item down there if you wanted it. Oh right, I forgot about the item. Yeah. So at the time we didn't know we we weren't questioning the difficulty, so we went to the undead area first. The, the skeletons everywhere that get up infinitely. Oh yeah. And we just pummeled at that for like an hour, I think. And then we're like, well, this isn't right. This is too hard. Let's go somewhere else. So we went to Lost Isolus. <laughs> I mean, not like I mean New Londo ruins. I mean, not like I I went to somewhere way later. Uh, we went into the New Londo ruins underground, where it's full of ghosts you can only fight if you have a spectral ghost thing that lets you fight the ghosts. And... And we, we were like, oh, this is way easier than the skeleton people. Look how slow they are. This must be where we're supposed to go. So we tried to go there for like an hour, until we eventually ran out of the ghost-killing items. We're like, well, this is impossible. What do we do? And then we're like, oh, there's a grassy hill over here. <laughs> yeah. I remember very distinctly things about this area in particular so i it may seem like hey oh. wait a second this isn't very hard at all but that's only because i i know this yeah. entire first area andrew's gonna have a brief windfall where he gets to kind of relax and go through some souls content for a little bit because yeah. this is the only patch of souls content he's that familiar with yes <laughs> is, see look at this is upper undead berg uh yes. especially because uh, we we had that very familiar feeling for a lot of people, which is when you uh, can't beat the Tauros demon, and you experience the adventure of trying to get through that for that walk to the Tauros demon over and over again because you can't beat him. Look at that! It doesn't lag. Yeah. That's how games should be. All you needed was a 1080. <laughs> All you needed to run this game from 2011 was a 1080 Ti. <laughs> You fucking expensive ass crazy computer man. Holy shit. It makes it so I can play it in the nicest. I mean, this looks really nice. It does look nice. It, it, even I was like, fuck it, I'm going. I'll just I'll settle for a 1070. It's fine. Oh Dorgan. my god. Look, look at him go. Oh, you didn't even look at him. Right. Oh, these, oh, you got a glimpse of him, I think, when he's leaving over the hill. Like, where could he be going? That seems like relevant information. Nah. Your relevant information. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, come here, you. I'm done with your sassy mouth. What? What are you even shooting at? Well, he has to pull the trigger eventually. <laughs> oh God, they're coming for you. Yeah, they're dead now. Um. So in our first ever playthrough of this game, we got to this bonfire, and then we were stuck here for like six hours. Yeah. Because. <laughs> We couldn't clear the next area. So it was really tough. So this, more than any th other piece of the game, will probably be drilled into Andrew's head, even as a non-Souls stop, fan. Stop, please. Is the just the goddamn walk to Tauros Demon. Stop. Oh yeah, the key for that. Was there a key for that? I don't know. <laughs> I think that was just a regular door. I don't know which doors. I, I, I meant to say, oh, you can open that. Cause I don't- I don't remember the doors and which keys or go to what or whether or not- like which ones have locks and stuff. So one of the things I need to get around to doing in this game, and one- and it's one of the things I'm happy that you're doing too, is you're not playing with the master key. So I played with the master key because it's by far the most valuable gift by a mile. And it lets you open doors that you normally have to like, beat bosses for and stuff like that. Oh, that seems super easy. Why am I not doing that? So what, what usually happens is you still have to beat the bosses, but you can play the game out of order, essentially, and do really weird things if you have the master key. And the problem is I've basically always had the master key when I play this game. So when I finally get around to playing it again, I want to finally just not have that so I can experience the correct order of it. The correct order of operation. This is my least played Souls game. 
by yeah, yeah of all of them including bloodborne and uh demon souls this is dark souls the one that's supposed to be the the, the masterpiece is my least played one for no for no particular reason i guess all right it just happened that way well now you seem to have your wits about you hmm? then you are a welcome customer i trade for souls yeah yeah yeah. okay you're just the same as everybody else all right um Vince Estes recovery within a limited area. Yeah, Lloyd's Talisman. That sounds really great for fighting people. Yeah, it is. That's the point, basically. Uh, Residence key opens residences in Undead Burg. Yeah. Or a bottomless box, allowing inventory management at Bonfire. Yeah. Those are both really good. Those are both really good. You Those should go get 500 souls. <laughs> one of them opens a bunch of doors around here, and the other one gives you a, st a stash. Yeah, the stash sounds really nice. Everything else is gonna be shit, I bet. That's oh. mixed. Oh, a club. Yeah. Um, you, get a nice, you can get a nice strength weapon. You might be able to get a, a better shield, potentially, or a rapier, if you want to be a bitch. Okay, like I so am. then I'm gonna do this right now. Because you'll be using it, like, uh, immediately? Yeah, I'll be using it Did immediately. Did you ever check your shield's defense stat, or have you blocked uh, it yet? No, but... Uh, have you even been blocking yet? Yeah, yeah, I have. Heater shield. Oh, yeah! You actually physical. started the game with 100% block. Huh. So that's pretty nice. Uh, my secondary shield, or the other shield, is a 93, but it pre it prevents more magic and lightning. And when you get to Dark Souls 2, you have to, like, fucking look for one. <laughs> it takes a while to find the 100% block shield. I mean, my sword's shield. also pretty good, too. CC? Yeah, CC. So it has, e it has equal scaling with both uh, dex and strength, and even yeah. equal requirements of 10-10. Yeah. So it's a completely neutral so, starting weapon. Compared to what he sells. <laughs> um, which apparently I can't afford anything now. But, uh... You did spend all your souls. E, C, C, which is what I have, literally. Yeah, that's um, your weapon. E, B, D, and C, D. Um, A. Hey. That's a club. It's the fucking goddamn club from... Demon Souls that yep. I started with before. Although you can probably upgrade it. Maybe. I've uh, never really encountered the a reinforced club, which is a C for some reason and not an A. I think it has higher starting stats is why. Ah. Uh, because the scaling, the number you get from scaling is based on the base damage of the weapon. So a higher damage, so a higher damage base weapon with lower scaling might technically even have higher scaling points sometimes. Uh, functionally, because of how much higher its base damage is. So would the reinforced club be better? Um, I mean, that's well, how's a, the scaling compare right now? That's a nine. Well, that's a, that's a plus thirteen. The other plus one is 13. what? The yeah. one's a plus eighteen. This, the other one's scaling pretty fast. The short war, or the short sword is a plus thirteen, which is what I have. It'd be hard to know for sure without math. But yeah, at the moment, the scaling is already higher, and the difference in in base damage is only ten. So right now. Right now, uh, what, the Reinforce is worth like seven more damage basically, because it has higher base damage but lower scaling, but then as you put more points into strength, because you just, you were basically just born a second ago, yeah. uh, it might quickly overtake it. Like the club might be better? It's possible. Would it be better to buy and replace it with the, in the short sword? Uh, it will do more damage in the short sword, depends on whether, any, whether or not you like the moveset. Okay. It already does more damage than the short sword. All right, and it will continue uh, to scale better with your strength, assuming you'll continue to focus on strength. And what is this? One fifty. Sure, that's it's a cheap reasonable. weapon. Yeah, because it's a stick. Because <laughs> it's, it's a stick. It's like all this, all, this like it's like getting a baseball bat as a weapon. You get into equip both at once. Yeah. What's what's that roll look like? Huh? It shouldn't be too heavy. Okay. Yeah, I, I shouldn't be encumbered. Just making sure you're not crashing. One's a fucking stick. <laughs> like, I don't know what its weight is. It's a heavy stick, though. That's like part of the point. Blur. Oh, wow. That is an interesting... You like the jump attack? That jump attack might be a lot of problems. Yeah, I have to compensate for that. Uh, but that's are, nice. Are you talking about falling off cliffs? Well, everything. Even just attacking enemies, I have to compensate for the fact that they're... might be running at me, and then I have to club them. Yep. Much like the other weapon you had before. You're only done one flask so far. And people are trying to burn you. People are always trying to burn me. Like that guy. You lit the bonfire back there, right? Yeah. I didn't rest at it, though. Well, yeah, because you're down a flask. And all the enemies are gone. 
Oh my god, Look this thing does damage. so much damage. Look at that damage. It's so much. Look at what you're doing, Andrew. So much damage. Does not open from this side. Your face my doesn't open. My, fa Ew. my favorite phrase from from Dark Souls games. Oh! No. That's bad. She almost killed him through his shield. Don't and do that. that. You did. All right. Uh, oh! oh! <laughs> Whoa! Hey there! Uh, you are a sneaky little guy. You have to be careful around them corners. It's dangerous. Not really. Look how much you've improved already. Hey, there's a box. <laughs> don't trust you, box. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, man. Mimics exist, all right? <laughs> I ain't about that life. <laughs> don't don't sass me, because the Did one time I one time Did I don't do it, I'm gonna get eaten alive. Did you feel safer in Demon Souls? Yeah. Are there mimics in Demon Souls? I don't think so. Oh, that's why. I honestly don't even really remember there being chests, but there probably are. Wow, this oh I was gonna say this. Did you ever open a chest in Demon Souls? I don't even know. I don't okay. remember a chest. You're in that going game. down first. Oh, this auto lock on is amazing. Isn't it great? This, the lock on is so much better in this game. I'm just game. thinking back about how useless you were when you first loaded into the Boletarian Palace in Demon Souls a few weeks ago. Yes. <laughs> when you're like, oh, I'm gonna fight basic hollows. This is impossible. <laughs> and you've already gotten past that. Because now these guys are like a joke. What are you gonna do? Don't you're throw you're a fireball. Like, you're like not me. even taking hits. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> he threw a firebomb at a wall and it was like, uh, hey, how's it going? <laughs> I was just kidding. Yeah, sorry about that, man. You know how it is. Us all has got to work for our food. <laughs> like, oh, well, the residence key came in handy immediately. Yeah. We're in got a thousand souls again. Hey, a chest. I forgot to punch it. Yeah, you did. That could have been it. That could have been it for me. <laughs> you can't fuck around when it comes to chests, man. <laughs> you can't. They're dangerous, but they also contain all the most important items in the game. Maybe. What? What? Excuse He's me? He's ready for you. He was like aiming above my head. Yeah. You gotta, you gotta pull, compensate for bullet drop off. Oh, God. <laughs> Don't, do it. <laughs> Don't do it. Don't do it. It's time for the Dark Souls Ballet. Don't do it. Don't do it, I believe in you! Don't do it! You just keep going in circles around him like... Da -da 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 -da. He just like, <laughs> won't <laughs> fight me. <laughs> it's like he's making fun of you. <laughs> like, are you he, mocking me? Yeah, he is like... like he's just... making fun of players of the game by just blocking. That was one of the great, adven one of the great adventures that happened when I... Uh, when I would edit our co-op playthroughs with Wander and Spider specifically, is I would look at Spider's footage and he would just be blocking the entire game and not fighting. Oh, hey, hey there, buddy Brown. You looking a little scary over there. Let's let's have a one-on-one -on -one real talk. How how dangerous are you on a scale of one to five? How do you feel? Uh I feel like I'm gonna check behind me. <laughs> um, alright. Seems like a pretty I'm sure good he's friendly. place to die. Oh, that's a, that's a well, hole. that is a hole. Look at Mr. Big Armor Guy. You know what he's not? is not a stupid zombie. Not a stupid Maybe zombie. if I go really quietly, he won't if notice. If I go really quietly. Oh my god! Seven damage. That's more damage. 72 damage. Uh-oh. That's a uh -oh. lot of damage! <laughs> it's a lot of damage. Look how much damage it did. Like, none. 40 damage. That was not bad. 40 do, damage yeah. is pretty good. You've done over 100 damage to him. He's got a noticeable little, like, chunk missing. Fuck you! Fire! <laughs> oh, oh no. That's a lot of damage. <laughs> yeah. You don't have a lot of hit points. Oh no. I have a 100% block shield, though. You, you, you flask for like five years in this game. <laughs> It is not a quick. Uh, he's. Oh no! Oh no! You trapped yourself in the corner. I, because here's the thing. Uh, <laughs> I don't. I don't know if maybe it was intentional or maybe somebody just it was incompetent. But you can get upstairs from the side. It's possible to walk upstairs from the side. <laughs> it's like I, I've done it before. No, you're a video game character. It's impossible. It, <laughs> also, you didn't rest at the bonfire, so you're back here. I now. told you I didn't use it. Yeah. Well, I got my club. Whoop! Yeah, now they're gonna just die faster. God, 
out of this fucking fire guy. Where's this fire guy? Up here. So the important thing to keep in mind, in particular for for uh, Dark Souls, yeah. is you can't teleport. Yeah. So you you have to navigate this thing Metroidvania style from bonfire to bonfire and whatnot. How I? Oh God. You oh know what God. I don't. You know what I don't oh understand. God. I don't under fucking stand why goddamn you can't just walk around people. I, well, they're stag They're hitting you. No. Thanks, Keith. I'm saying <laughs> I don't understand. Were, that was the primary reason. I'm saying were why can't I just roll past a person? It makes no sense that I can't just be like, eh, man, fuck this. Like, why can't I just roll around somebody? Like roll through someone physically? Yeah. Maybe? Like face through them? Not face through them, but like That's if, basically you're asking. if there's two people standing next to each other, they're not like in in unpassable, you know? It's they, relatively standard to have hitboxes on enemies that collide with a player, and so you can't get through them and stuff. Yeah, it's just fucking obnoxious. And that's not even like a Dark Souls thing, that's just like how video games usually work. I know, but Dark Souls should, you know... You've got to worry you can't like roll through the harpies. Yeah, you can. You, you, gotta, you gotta rip them in half first. You can roll around them. You gotta, you gotta pre-tear them. <laughs> how do you feel about the fact they're making a new God of War that's not God of War? I don't know what that means. Have you seen the new one at all? I saw the video. The one that looks like The Last of Us God of War or something. Oh, because it has like the kid or whatever? It's got like slow, time-consuming, like third, third-person cinematic stuff going on because that's like the Sony trademark now. I, I honestly have like no idea what the uh, like what the gameplay looks like, so I don't know. I can't be mad until I actually see the game. Because once I see the game, then I'll know for certain if it's like garbage or not. Uh, I guess I'm gonna rest here because I don't. That's a good idea. I don't want to like have to walk again. I'm you might be able to level again. Uh, no. Did you, oh, did you notice the God. number you were left off on? I think it was like 700. Okay. Cause I know that before you had like just over 2,000 and you leveled up like three times off that. Okay. The rest of these guys don't matter. Yikes. Running, running, running. Oh shoot. Why? Why what? Why did you like him? Why do you dedicate yourself to this? Why did he barrel himself out? It was an ambush. He was just wasn't very good at it. Yeah, I noticed. Poor guy. He's, no he's just trying to make a living and he won't. Oh, I have a residence key. No, it nope. doesn't. You tried that last time. Right, 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 right. Well, I forgot I had the residence key when I tried it the first time. I only remembered I had it because that door opened. Yeah. Ah, good. Yeah. The beeline yeah. straight for the one guy with the firebombs. You yeah. must pay. Because the firebombs are like the thing that could fuck the. Like you must fail. You must pay in particular. That's a good time for. Nope. Oh. oh, this guy was coming, so I yeah. Didn't wanna... All right. Where did that guy even come from? Which guy? The guy that just ambushed you? Yeah. Upstairs. Oh, it's one of these firebombs yeah, guys. Yeah, he saw you. Okay. He's probably the guy that was throwing firebombs at you a moment ago. Oh, okay. And then he aggroed down the la ladder when you went behind him. I really don't like that hollows can use ladders. <laughs> this is the specific thing I'm going to take a stand on. Now you have to be very careful not to die now. Oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> what did you say to my Where face? Where was this club in our first playthrough of this game? Because <laughs> we needed it. I don't know what our build was, but it wasn't able to do that, I don't think. Yeah. We felt so useless. 3,000 3, souls. souls. Jeez. Um. Are you gonna try it again? Yeah, fuck yeah. Fuck this guy. This guy's a piece fuck of shit. Fuck this guy. This guy's a piece of shit. Gotta be quiet about it. Oh, I was dude. really surprised that worked. Worked again, fool! Yeah. I thought you'd have to go slower. Uh oh. <gasps> what? Which way are we going? <laughs> 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 this guy's like, wait, where are we fighting? Uh Ow, oh, we got you between hits. Oh no, your health points. Nope, that's not what I want to do. So at some point it's a good idea to unlock and then just sprint away when you want to run. There you go, and then you can get enough distance to heal. Oh, I didn't! I didn't get enough distance! I didn't say you did, I said you can. I can't! I can't run fast enough. Look at this shit. I can't run fast enough. I'm fucking too slow. This poor man. Okay, that should be enough. Ah, what the ah, fuck? How are you so quick? 
<laughs> oh god, you had time. It worked. Oh my god. Stop! Drop and roll! <laughs> oh no. How does that not work? Apparently it doesn't work. Oh god. Oh, oh no! Whoa, the he back got swing. you on the back swing! Actually, I think it was just the forward swing, but he got so surprising. <laughs> that's the main thing. <laughs> that stab, that's his weakness, because it doesn't glance off you, so you get your stamina back. And you can recover real quick. There, there you go. There you go. You found your window. Oh, but now you're, now you're, now you're straight from oh. the wrong way, and it's becoming a bad thing. Well, I thought he was done. I thought he had a three combo. Yeah. But you notice how his moveset leads to wildly different results if you're, if you're, uh... If you're patrolling, if you're, uh, spinning counterclockwise or clockwise. Yeah. Especially that stab hitting you or not hitting you is, like, a huge opening. If you're going the right way. But if you go the other way, then the stab hits you. Yeah, I think the problem with him, or the problem I was having was that, uh... Oh, shit. I cannot hit him when he's on the ground. Um, going the wrong way. Yeah, it seems like Dark Souls 1 in particular is a lot nicer to people that are on the ground, which I think includes you. At least in PvP. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. There you go. No! It was so close. Ooh, gotta get that stamina back up. Oh, we're going, you're going full ham, you're gonna die. You gotta be careful. Oh wow. Wow, are you getting away with that? <laughs> you oh, actually, he did. You he didn't away, do nothing about it. Away. Did not think you'd get away with that one. There you go. You got a Titanite chunk and a dead guy. And get really? gu and guess what? What? I Well, I'm not 100 percent sure, but I don't think he's coming back. But honestly, if you just grab whatever's behind him and you'll never need him to, you never need to care anyway. Yeah. I'm upset because he's also supposed to drop a weapon. He has a chance of dropping a weapon. What? Every black knight in the game has a chance of dropping black knight weapons. What? There's a there's a black knight spear and a black knight sword and there might be a hammer or something like that I don't remember. You got the blue you got the blue tearstone ring, my most hated item in the game. Great. What does it I do? I think it raises your defense when you're low on health. That sounds great. But when you're, if you're low on health, you're gonna die in like one hit anyway. No, I mean it could stop an arrow from look, killing look you in one look shot. At its, look at its explanation. It's pretty funny. Like written. Gotta, uh, like people make entire I, if I it, it's only if I remember correctly, but uh if I think the red tier stone ring it raises your attack when you're low on health, and people make whole builds out of that. They make entire things where like all these items buff me when I'm low on health, so all I have to do is just not get hit. <laughs> so you run around with like one hit point and you just like obliterate everything. Just destroy everything. You just Exodia obliterate everything. Now you can level. Hooray. Uh, well, let's keep going on that hype train. So you get three... So you put one point into strength? Yeah. So you got three damage from that. Damn! Went from 105 to 108 just from the, that one point. One damn! And I think your punching went up by one. Nice. <laughs> I need to be able to punch harder. Yeah. Uh, one punch? Now what do I want? Um, you can get like three more level ups probably. <laughs> oh, I'm not attuned. Not attunement. <laughs> That's definitely spell casting. Uh, stamina, stamina, and health are always like really vital. There, all three of these things are very useful to your build, because strength gives you the more strength you have, the, more, the faster you kill everything you fight. Yeah. You're gonna stop there. Well, I oh, mean, you're gonna go I'm, buy the yeah. I'm gonna go buy the, the stash. stash. Right. The stashes are good. Okay. Oh yeah. Yeah, see, the, the only problem with the club is... Uh, what? You is got stuck by an arrow. Fucking slow it is. Yeah. Because while the... Oh, no, I press, press it twice. Sometimes it goes through twice, though. Sometimes it doesn't. Um, oh, God. Oh, boy. I thought I was locked onto that He guy. was hungry. Just angry at your general direction, basically. Um, which is fine. I just need to... I should have bought the thing before I upgraded. That was my mistake. Oh yeah, bought the item. Yeah. Uh, no, all these guys were gonna be back already. No, because I. Oh yeah, yeah. You already rested and died. <laughs> like you, they've been reset multiple times over now, since you last came here. They probably follow you down. Dun, 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 they may follow you down and attack you when you're at the vendor. What? No, they're not. I guess not. They're too dumb for that they, shit. They might be. Just go fast. <laughs> Ow. Thank you.
Got all your num got all your marbles together. <laughs> so that guy's not hollow, but he looks pretty close, doesn't he? Are you sure he's not a hollow? Well, he's talking to you and he was running a shop, so he's not a hollow. Well, he's not a hollow. He's not dead though. He's definitely undead. Okay. You're undead too. Well, I don't give a shit what I am. Most people you'll meet in this game are undead. Otherwise, oh, because the, play the place is dangerous. Everyone's probably died once by now. Everyone's probably died. All the, all the not all the not undead people just died and didn't come back. <laughs> But I think this place specifically is... This kingdom is supposed to be having an ended curse all over it anyway. Although, this is I, the guy... although I do mix that up with Demon Souls sometimes though, because that Demon Souls is like, There's a grand fog that brought in the undead curse and stuff. It's like... There's a lot of overlap. You have a storage now, so if you want to put stuff off your character, you can put them there. But... It's... Wait. Worth mentioning. This game... You can check your character stat screen real quick. I'm pretty sure there's no item load. Well, yeah, but I want a cleaner inventory. Yeah. I just don't want shit everywhere. I uh, generally use the bottom box. I, uh, I keep all my upgrade items around, especially since they're in their own screen. They're already on their own tab anyway. Yeah. But I get rid of, like, excessive crappy weapons or just the way too much crap that I can't keep track of like that. Like uh, having a, a hilt for instead of a weapon. Oh, okay. So now it's in there. Yeah. Okay. Uh, nope. Yeah, this screen will always be messy because it shows both inventories at once and you just pick what side is in. Okay. Um, You've got hard leather armor. Look at that hollow armor. Isn't that great? Look, it's like, it's like shit. It's shit. It's like how shit it is. Oh, it's actually not shit. The, uh, the chest piece isn't too shit compared yeah. to this chest piece. Yeah. 26 to 24. Yeah. Isn't it heavier though? I think it is. Yeah, it's, yeah, heavier. it's heavier for some reason. <laughs> so it's, yeah, because it's bad. Yeah, boost defense when your health is low. Whatever. It might save you in a in a surprise scenario. I mean, you might as well equip it because you don't have any ring equipped right now. But uh, generally, I always thought that was a weird joke because the game the damage values are so high in this game that like a bit of bonus damage, a bit of bonus defense when you're already low on health usually means you're already low enough that you're gonna die in one hit. I think. Uh, let's see. But the comments will uh, prove me wrong. <laughs> all right. The comments will all tell me I'm wrong. They have been so far for everything. Yay! Well, I'm in the room, so fuck all of you. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to tell Andrew how to play Dark Souls so much, you, you get you here. You can only tell us weeks later when the video goes up. <laughs> Ooh, quick dodge. I don't care about you guys. Oh, could you stop? Fire! They're just like the relentless. Yeah, well, yeah, because there's two of them throwing fire bombs at once. The one guy that chases you eventually, and then the one guy that you kicked off a ledge. Oh like, god, oh, no! Still blocked it. Still blocked it. I was adjusting my glasses. Yeah. My glasses! My glasses! I, I saw a lot of real life movement, I'm like, that's a bad time for real life movement. <laughs> <laughs> you seem to be having real life difficulties. When you move in the game, you move for real! God. My childhood. <laughs> Featuring Justin Long. And Peter Petrelli. <laughs> Petrelli. Isn't that a fictional character? Yes. It's the name that yeah, like Milo oh, and, what? to Miller or whatever plays. Yeah. In Heroes. In Heroes. But that actor is in uh, the gamer game, whatever it's called. The die, the die for real movie. Come on. What's that movie called? Didn't they have like? Uh, didn't that movie have uh, Malcolm in the Middle? Gamergate. <laughs> Gamergate. Oh no. The musical. Gamergate the musical. <laughs> Brought to you by Trey Parker and Matt Stone. <laughs> God. <laughs> I'd, I'd watch it though. That'd be great. That'd be fantastic. I mean, we'd never watch it because we'd have to go to Broadway. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it'd actually be a Broadway. I mean, they already did one. Did they? Yeah. You don't know about uh, the House of Mormon, the musical? I didn't know it actually went to Broadway. Yeah, it's still there. It's still there. Yeah, like, it's a fucking stain on the carpet. Like, That's like a, it's like an award-winning show they put on. Award. They're like really proud of it. It won awards. Yeah. That's actually. Hey, look, like a thing at the top of the staircase. Fuck. <laughs> That's never bad. Huh? How'd that work out? It bounced over the ledge. It bounced over the ledge. Yeah. Apparently. Interesting. Wait, did the guy who pushed it die? 
<laughs> what? <laughs> what? What? Yeah. Where'd he come from? <laughs> wait, where, did, wait, where did he come from? I didn't see him. I, he wasn't there. He just came out of the ground. Spooky dookie. Uh, oh shit. Ah. Can you tell it loaded a new zone? Yeah. <laughs> uh, All at once. Fuck. Okay. Do you remember what's down there? No, I remember, well, I remember what's down there, but I remember what's up here, too. <laughs> uh... Fuck, fuck, fuck. How... I have five S's flasks. Is that enough? How far did our original series make it? Like, Moonlight Butterfly? Yeah. All those years ago? This is gonna be a pain. This is gonna be a pain in the ass. I believe in you? What was that? Uh, it might have been a Titanite Lizard. There it is. Hit him hard. Jump, jump attack. There you go. Hit him, hit him again. <laughs> Not like that. There you go. Yeah! Look Take at all the stuff you got. Oh. Well then. Yeah, that's that the same type of thing you saw in the last game. The little lizards that run away. Wait, did yeah. you ever see one of those? No. Oh. You were really close to a lot of them. I saw them a few times. Oh. They're, de they're especially in the mining area. But they're hard to catch and to notice this early on. Is five enough? How much do you believe in yourself? How many did I spend to get here? None. Then why do I only have five? You only get you get ten from the fi from Firelink Shrine and five from other ones. Oh, that's right. You remember, you remember how kindling works? Right. Where you like invest humanity into the bonfire itself to get it to be worth more more uh, flasks. So you can make one worth ten now. Uh, if you, uh, you, yeah. you have to use one humanity to become human if you're not human, then you have then from then you can invest them into the bonfire to pump up your flask count. So you have to use it sparingly when you feel like you need to, such as the boss, the uh, bonfire before a boss. <sighs> For now, you have five. So I now believe. the question is, which weapon am I going to use? I don't know. I will say that if you have one you don't think you're going to use, it's pro it's probably better to unequip it. I'm not always certain because stuff varies from game to game sometimes, but I think your stu I think stuff down to your like speed and even like your regeneration speed of your stamina can be based on how your overall equip load. Well, what is my equip load right now? Uh, go to your character screen. It's less than half. So I shouldn't be, I shouldn't be slower because of it. You, yeah, you won't have a slow roll, but it can affect the. Uh, it, I don't know if it's every game for sure, but. In some of them, for sure, your uh, cool. your equip load affects your uh, your stamina this. regeneration rate. Okay. About the same. Yeah, that's about the same. So that's not hurting me any. If I probably had another shield, it would definitely be hurting. I know when you roll, like if you're over. Are you ready to go clubbing? Well, yeah. If you're fat rolling, you're fucked. Yeah, you're just like Bleh. just miserable. <laughs> you're like, this was a mistake. I'm supposed to block out forever, get a tower shield, and just shield up at that point. <sighs> Which is how I beat the game, by the way. By being over encumbered. I beat my first playthrough of Dark Souls by being a tower shield user. Uh oh. Like I wasn't. I couldn't roll. Hey, properly. look. I didn't have a fast roll. I fat rolled. With, I, I'd have to fat roll if I rolled. So I was actually blocking stuff with a giant shield. Which is vi it is viable. If you have a giant shield in this game, uh, the be the better the shield is, the better the guard break reduction is. Like the le the less stamina you lose. How do you break this? You don't. Oh, he does. Okay. No, it just doesn't happen. What? I thought that's a shortcut. <laughs> no. That's the staircase you were just at. I know, but there's no way I can use it to get away. No, <laughs> it's a run away from the fight. I'm out of here. Well, there's the. Over there, I think. If I'm yeah, correct. You, can, you can recognize all sorts of parts of the world yeah. from here, I including think where you just were. I think. I think. Yeah, you can see it from down here. Wait, from. No. This way. <laughs> Wait, which way did I come from? Which way? Where did I come from? Where did I go? I don't know where I am anymore. Oh, that looks gross. Yeah, that didn't look too good. <laughs> if you look, uh, if oops. you look in weird directions outside of environments in Dark Souls games, it's very much like that's not where we're focusing our efforts. Um, Don't look at me, I'm hideous. <laughs> that's where you were, by the way. There, that's where I was. There we go. I knew I was somewhere. It's cool being able to look back on the environment you were already in and explore it and stuff. Yeah, the only thing that's not cool is... Is this... The Tauros demon? Yeah. 
I don't know if this club's gonna do damage to him though. I mean, everything will do damage. Well, I mean, I don't know if it's gonna be quick enough damage. Because he is a very fast motherfucker. Ah! Uh, we'll see. Holy shit! Yeah. That is a good greeting. <laughs> How do you do? I'm Tauros Demon. 51. That's not bad. It's a start. No! Oh no. I fucked that roll up. Yeah, he got you on the wind up. You already dodged for that part of the swing. I. Just need to heal. Careful. Yeah. Careful. Oh shit. Thankfully, you got lucky from hitbox stuff, basically, because that was not your role that saved you there. Yeah. You were, you, just, you were just outside of the range of the swing. He's He's got shitty ranges. Like, there are a lot of safe zones in his attacks. What? I rolled into him and he curved himself. He got you on the back swing all the way around. Woo hoo hoo! Oh, risky. Oh, you went for both. <laughs> That's ballsy. I'm a ballsy man, all right? <laughs> you're I'm in hitting a man in the balls, and I'm a ballsy yeah, man. I was gonna say, like, you're apparently a balls man right now. That's you seem to be a big fan. That's not gonna be uh, what? Stepping on he me hurt me? stepped on you. <laughs> That's great. Are you serious? <laughs> I love that he stepped on you. How? Oh, no. The backswing again. This fucking backswing, dude. There you go. Look at that damage. That's a satisfying chunk of orange. Yellow. I, wow. I seriously can't see anything. <laughs> oh. And I couldn't get up either. You hugged the Grundle. See, here's my thing you about hugged, the Taurus You hugged demon. it till it bled. Is, Taurus Demon is so bad. In every conceivable way. Because he's like in a fucking small ass hallway. I can't maneuver around him i can't like strafe around him at all like i can with the first boss that i fought i can't do anything with him besides just roll dodge every single thing he does it's an option you can block his attacks can i you can block any attack what yeah are you sure because we tried to like <sighs> okay because, like, I don't want to... I didn't want to block any of his attacks because I assumed, like, ah, he's a boss who just does, like, a million damage. Yeah, you block boss attacks, too. It's just boss attacks will, like, tank your stamina, so you have to be careful. But it's not that different from what you were doing with the Black Knight. Where you were just strategically blocking and then unblocking and, like, getting your stamina back between attacks. Ooh, that was not what I wanted. Got you in that backstab. Oh, no. This guy doesn't exist, right? Okay, he's here. His barrel doesn't exist. <laughs> yeah, it's gone for some reason. Okay. You just have to be very careful when you block because different parts of the attack could be like more staggering. Hmm. But he, but while you're st while you're reeling back from the attack and staggering, he also may be recovering from his attack, so he might, may not necessarily get you in time. And you just have to be careful. You can't you can't just continually block and be out of stamina and stuff like that. You you have to deal with the fact that your stamina is going down. Yeah. Well, I need to get. I mean, I need to put distance. I am aware of that, but like. It's just frustrating that, like, I... Everything everything is, like, so enclosed. It's so tight and small. It also helps that. to pay attention to what direction his attack's coming from. Remember the previous t uh, talk I had about, like, the idea of rolling uh, in the opposite direction of your enemy's swing? Because then you spend the least time within the... The, the weapon's like hitbox. Yeah. So you were, you were often rolling with the swing instead of against it, which meant that it was following you. Mm. Which means that like it's it's not a very effective dodge. Like oh, it's he, just also too close to him. Most yeah. Of the time. So like if he does that giant swing that goes from like from the left side of our screen to the right side of the screen, and you dodge from left to right, then that means you're dodging with the weapon, can and you're just carry, gonna, like, lay can down. Carry a boss. Uh whew. There are a lot of parryable bosses throughout the franchise. I am never confident which ones they are, <laughs> and I would definitely not. I'd be disinclined to try to do it against the ones with giant weapons. And like. I'm definitely more believable. I'm more likely to believe you can when the enemy has a sword, at least. But it's a shoot. It's a kind of a crapshoot, regardless. Is that guy, are these guys still here? Yeah, they're back every time. Oh, fuck. At least have, give me some reprieve. I just. Uh, they represent a reprieve. These guys. Yeah. These guys represent annoyance. Well, I mean, this sort represents a reprieve. If you hit me, I would have been so fucking salty. I'm not gonna waste an S's flask, uh, flask on you. Someone in chat is smiling so hard right now. <laughs> Why? 
I like to drop hints every now and then to fuck with people. Did you drop a hint? Kind of. Oh, look at all those souls I got. Yeah, look how much. Look at. Do you see how nice and small the retrieval screen is? Yeah, compared it's very to the last quick. Game? Very small. The full screen souls retrieve. You've got everything. Now I want to try blocking his attack. It's it's a. Um, you could try it and find out the hard way how devastating it may or may not be. Oh, that was easy. <laughs> that wasn't so bad. How about this one? Oh, it was a miss. Oh, well, it was a miss. What? You want to get away from me? Yeah. Reverse psychology. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, that was a harder one. That was a harder you one, liked but it, you I liked did a flip. I didn't take any damage, which was no. Nice. You just staggered hard. There you go. Okay. <laughs> that is an anime ass shield block when yeah. you get thrown off your feet and go flying backwards. <laughs> so just don't put your back to come a on, cliff in those just moments. Give me Jesus Christ, this just, fucking... Just don't panic in those moments, you can always block. No, I, I know that, I'm saying, like, I just don't want the camera to be into his ball sack. Don't go in his ball sack. <laughs> you are a piece of shit. He's dodging your attack. <laughs> such a little piece of shit. <laughs> this should be an easy fight. Oh, oh no, wow, your stamina. Wow, that was way more than my shield could handle. Or my stamina could handle. Yeah, it was mostly because your stamina wasn't full, though. Oh, don't put your back to the, the hole. That could no. go badly. So your stamina could have hit taken that attack, but your stamina wasn't full in that moment. So it maxed it out. Uh oh. You can do this. You only used one flask so far. You were down one before you got here. Nope. Stepped on you a little bit. Yeah, I, I really like that animation. That fucking anime It's really guy. funny. I'm not used to seeing it because I'm afraid of shields. Because <laughs> I'm afraid of shields. <laughs> oh, man. Damn, that fucking down strike. Yeah. That's, it, although you're blocking so much of the attack that you're clearly not taking much damage. No, but that, like, every time he does that, are such a scum so you start to learn a priority system then, you're like, oh, that's the specific hit that always does too much problem for my blocking, so maybe that's the one I need to specifically dodge and stuff like that. Ow. Whoa, excuse me? It's just sort of, like, nudging you to the side with his foot, like, go back over there. Yeah. <laughs> you're not on your mark. <laughs> we practice places, everyone. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, that was weird. Yeah, he kind of, like, hit you the back part of it. Yeah. You hit his bony little tail. I <laughs> hit his bony little ass. Got you right in the dick. What are you gonna so do about close. it? Dick demon. You're right there. Don't bounce away from me now. Ow. 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 Oop. All right. Come on. Ta-da! Yeah, that was too tough. I don't like this anymore. <laughs> it's a big deal to realize you can block him, huh? Yeah, do, well, so because... Do, so because... Do, you, do you not figure out the other hint I was loot dropping at all? No, what? So you were up on the top of the tower. I'm like, this is also a reprieve. Oh, to like run up top, up top of the tower? To get you, away from him? You can run away from up there. You can also do plunging attacks on him from up there and take out like a third of his health in one hit. What, really? Yeah. We did that last time, six years ago. I, well, I don't remember the specifics how yeah. we fought bosses. I just remember the bosses. That's why I was having fun, like, nudging towards that idea. Like, I wonder if he'll remember. Because, <laughs> like, that's that's how we beat him eventually. We'd run, we'd sprint, we'd, uh, we'd, lure, we'd run to the opposite end of the whole hallway to lure him all the way over there, then sprint across the whole thing to go up the ladder and plunging attack him like bitches. Because we also <laughs> didn't figure out you could block him. What? That was weird. Could have sworn there was a thing. Like a door or something? No, I thought it was all a ghost. Like a spooky ghost? <laughs> yeah, that's all a spooky ghost. Spooky ghost. Hey, Soltar! Soltar? Soltar. Soltar the Destroyer! <laughs> Soltar! Ah, hello. You don't look hollow, far from it. I am Soler of Astora, an adherent of the Lord of Sunlight. Now that I am undead, I have come to this great land, the birthplace of Lord Gwyn, to seek my very own son. You find that strange? Well, you should. What? No need to hide your reaction. I get that look all the time. <laughs> Praise the sun. He's nice. I like him. 
He helps you out too if you yeah, need him. Yeah, you might want to talk to him more actually. Oh yeah, that's right. I should probably talk to him because I want to get the emote. Oh, aha. So I didn't scare you. I have a proposition if you have a moment. What is your decision? Mm, sure. The way I see it, our fates appear to be intertwined. In a land brimming with hollows, could that really be mere chance? So what do you say? Why not help one another on this lonely journey? Yeah. Oh, it pleases me greatly. Well then, take this. Oh. Yeah, that's a big deal. Oh, soapstone. We are amidst strange beings in a strange land. The flow of time itself is convoluted, with heroes centuries old phasing in and out. The very fabric wavers, and relations shift and obscure. There's no telling how much longer your world and mine will remain in contact. But use this to summon one another as spirits, cross the gaps between the worlds, and engage in jolly cooperation. Of course, we are not the only ones engaged in this, but I am a warrior of the sun. Spot my summon signature easily by its brilliant aura. If you miss it, you must be blind. <laughs> Sweet. Are you ready for jolly cooperation, Andrew? Yeah. Hello there. Okay. If only I could be so grossly incandescent. Man, I have 5,000 souls. Let's just real talk about this. Also, real talk, dragon. Uh, also... Fuck. Yeah. Uh, fuck. Also fuck. <laughs> also fuck. 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 Uh oh. Nope. Heard it. Oh shit. Wow, it still got me. Shit's all a flutter. Still got me. How are you feeling about this one? Uh, well, not too good, Keith, if I was being honest. He looks like really salty dragon. Salty dragon. Maybe he needs some love. <laughs> Maybe he needs. I try to find out the boundary of his attack zone or something. Yeah. What if it just comes all the way down here though? Once you trigger it, uh, then I just run faster. One way or another, you just gotta go for it, right? Yeah, I guess that's true. Like, only can run faster. This way seems nice. <laughs> I'm gonna go over here now. Thank you. This way too. My favorite part about this is how it's not here. <laughs> uh. Listen for it. Oh, you didn't trigger it. Someone's cling clanging. I was listening for uh. Maybe go back there. I was listening for the sound of everyone dying because I thought that the dragon was gonna kill all of them. No, not up. Go to the this door over there. This door? Yeah. Worth a look. Oh yeah, right. You can. Ta-da! You can yeah, level up. Shortcut. That's important. Yeah, it is Just actually. Be careful important. not to slide. Slide. <laughs> Sixty frame per second. Doom. <laughs> Doom. All right. Uh, so you made let's it. Level you made up. it back. You're not even dying that much. No, I'm not. For I, now. I told you. Oh, no, I honestly think I can. Because remember, when I played this game originally, I got all the way to Cap Redemon. Uh, before. All the way to, like, the next boss. Well, yeah, but I got there all on my own seven years ago with having never played a single Souls game before. Yeah. And I did that on a delay. On a millisecond I, delay. I can't wait to see what happens after. <laughs> well, yeah, but I'm saying that, like, I, I can play a Souls game. I just need the i just here's the thing i can play a souls game but every time i do something tries to fucking destroy that for me like so, like a te the technical problems yeah like some kind of technical problem hinders my progress like the the you got to stop putting out your hate radiation that breaks all your electronics well i can't <laughs> all right some people can't choose how they were born it's time to pick those points so vitality endurance and strength Going very even so far. Um, you well, can, you I can mean, afford two more. I can afford two more. Is there anything I should invest in? Resistance? Yeah. I'll no. Resistance. <laughs> oh God, no. Uh, <laughs> dexterity might also actually be pretty nice. Uh, I mean, at this point, you've barely increased your strength, so it'd be weirdly early to do dexterity if you're trying to do a strength build. That's true. Like. If you're doing a strength build, eventually you want to put more points into, into dexterity just because you will have hit you, uh... 
You'll hit several soft caps where the strength has re diminishing returns okay. from that point on. And so once you're at the, the points of diminishing return, then it makes sense to like put some points to dexterity because your strength-based weapons still have some dexterity scaling usually, and if you have like no dexterity, then you're underutilizing it at that point. But, right, well, but you're so early to be going into secondary stats. Yeah. You're just gonna go hit them again because you want to see the new number? Yeah, I want to see the new number. <laughs> Blink. 95. It's pretty good. What was the last time? Uh, 80. 112. That's pretty good. 11 T Billy. Now you got his shitty loincloth. Congratulations. Fucking goddamn it. Love it. Love it. Alright. Go up faster. Yeah. <laughs> you eventually can sprint up ladders in these games, but not in this one. Alright. Since so you hold you hold down B to make them ladder faster. <laughs> it's really funny. To make them ladder faster. It's a really funny idea to think about. Uh, so what's interesting is this part of the series has like an incentive to make you in the level design to keep folding back on the same bonfire over and over again like it just did. Yeah. Because of the fact that uh, you invest in those bonfires to level them up. Yeah, so there's So the a, game must more... reward you for doing that by being like, uh, we're here again, the same one. Remember the one you already put humanity in before? It's still using it. Should, I, right. should I invest humanity into that one? It's up to you. Depends on how much you'll, you think you'll be around it for much longer. Yeah, that's true. Like, just imagine how long you would have been up there if you were trying to beat the Taurus even for the first time example, for example, and then the realization you get to use it for the next zone again. Like, that's that's great. Yeah. Somebody's pacing like they're trying to take a break. No, somebody's is pacing for, Is like, it time for Andrew to take a smoke break, or is it, or you just don't want to go in the next place? I don't know. I don't know where I'm supposed to go. Just go for it. It's fine. Okay. Except for when it's not. Then we it, I mean, your, your choices are to go this way or to go up to the dragon fire zone and take your chances, which... Yeah. They I'm are both to, options. They are both <laughs> options. Uh, I was trying to think about that. You know what? I'm going to take a break instead. <laughs> like, make up your gosh damn mind.